Hey guys, we're just continuing on from the previous video. So the next thing we need to do is just check equilibrium to see that everything we've done makes sense. So once again, our structure looked like this. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a free body diagram of our structure. Um, this was 10 meters and this height was 10 meters. So in the problem, we had 5 kilonewtons going that way and 10 kilonewtons going down. So I'm going to draw that in. 5 kilonewtons that way, 10 kilonewtons that way. And now we can start filling in all our other forces. So Q3 and Q4. So 3 is going that way, 4 is going that way. We're given negative 10 there. So obviously, it's going to be going in the opposite direction. So there's 10 kilonewtons. Q4 is defined positive as up. So that's 10 kilonewtons there. Now Q5 and 6, so 5 is going across there, 6 going up, 5 is 5 kilonewtons here, and Q6 is 0, so there's nothing happening there. All right, so I just go and fill in all the forces, and we're going to check force in the X and Y and moment equilibrium. So sum of forces in the X, we need that to equal 0. So sum of forces is 5 plus 5 minus 10, which equals 0. So that's good, that works out. Sum of forces in the y direction would equal 10 up, 10 down, so that's just 0. And now we're going to check moments, and we're going to check it about that point A. So moments are about A, taking anti-clockwise is positive. So there's no lever arm for those, so we don't have to worry about them. This 5 and this 5 are both 10 meters away, and they're going anti-clockwise. So it's going to be 5 outside of 10 plus 5 outside of 10. Um, and this 10 is going down, and about A it's going um, clockwise. So it's going to be minus 10, and that's 10 meters. The lever arm there is 10 meters around A. So 10 by 10. So it's 50 plus 50 minus 100, which is 0. So we do have um, equilibrium, force, and moment.